man, I can see from all the way over here. I can see the front desk. It's crazy. Welcome to the video. It's Dr. Long here. And I have a question for you. Are you practicing the standard of care in ophthalmology and optometry and referring your low vision patients? If you are referring for low vision services, that's great. If you're not, you might consider visiting the International Academy of Low Vision Specialists website. That's IALVS.com. I've been a member myself since 2006. And we prescribe things beyond handheld magnifiers, electronic video devices. Um, there are many tasks and goals or things on the wish list that patients cannot use electronic devices for and they want to be hands-free to read or use the computer or do hobbies. Um, certainly driving, there's nothing currently available that might allow a patient to drive with an electronic device. So in order to get these patients help, once you've done what you can do, please refer out to a low vision specialist, whether that's me or someone like me who might be closer, um, that's the standard of care. Let's take a look at some cases now. So we'll start with Bobby. You saw Devante first in the intro, um, but I've seen Bobby for eight years. He is a low vision driver. You'll see he has on uh, uh, a telescope in front of one eye. He does not see out of the other. And he drives with this spiral focus Galilean telescope. And let's jump right in. Thanks for watching. What else will you use your, your telescope for? So you'll focus that to you drive with, but. Squirrel hunting. Squirrel. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, I got some sort of other things that is up close, you know. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Yep. And I use those uh, to do uh, intricate work. Good. And you said television. Yeah, television and anything long distance, like you viewing for down the field or something like that. So here we have Devante again, and because he does better with both eyes together, yet needs more magnification, he has on a fused executive prismatic bifocal. Next, you'll see Casey working with him here, explaining how to train with his bioptics and also how to clean them and care for them. Let's take a look at him uh, in action with the glasses. What we'll do is send you out for that referral with some training with your driving instructor. Okay. So, if I want to have you come back here, mm -hmm. do your visual field tests and all of that that they require for the bioptic driving, okay. it all has to be done within a six month, win six month window. The driving and the license? Mm hmm Okay. A little straighter? Yeah. Looks better. Yeah. You look nice. Thank you. It's gonna be different, but hey. Got you through it. Much more blessings on the way. I'm ready for it. Yay. Next up here, and finally we have Lonnie wearing his bioptics. He wanted to drive, and we had to explain that because of his diabetic retinopathy, that wouldn't be possible. He's lost too much peripheral vision. However, he still wanted bioptics to see his grandkids' ball games, to ride in the car, and just have that uh, magnified view while being mobile. Um, now let's take a look. We'll see him with his full diameter type telescopic glasses with a swivel cap. Take a look. You want to read, what do you need to do? Put it back down. Mm-hmm. There you go. Oh, wow. Good. Good. That'll help you? Yeah, that does it. Good. Good. Yeah, I can even see the second hand. Good. I didn't even realize you were looking at the clock. So can you tell me what time it is then? Three o'clock. Okay, now take those off and look at the difference for me. Can't even see the clock. <laughs> now put them back on for me. Oh yeah, that's good. Good. I like those. 